Oh boy. All right, so every day is a new day. It's a good saying and um, when it's a positive kick on it, but in this case, it's a negative kick because every day is a new day. You know, my, my attempt to wean myself off of this stuff <clears throat> that I'm on, that I'm not really sure. I get, it in this, I get it on the street and it could be something, it could be something else. Something that's even more addicting that, I, that I've never tried before. That's 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 put into it to make it more addicting. I'm not really sure, but I go through the go go through periods of feeling good and, and confident, and then I then I kind of fall back into the to the trap, and then I'm there again. So I did call a, a rehab center, and they said they had no beds available, and to call them over the weekend. So I'm going to wait until the weekend and see if there's a bed available. If that doesn't work. Uh, and there's no beds available, then I'm just gonna, I don't know, maybe try another one, or then I'm, my, my second plan is just to take this car down south and, and figure out something to do. Because it's, it's gonna be either me going into a place, getting away from the, 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 the things that, that, are, that are pulling me back, and yes, my family pulls me back, my, my, my own relationship pulls me back, the, the depression I, I feel from my own relationship, and my breakup pulls me back. Um, there's triggers all around, you know. So, um, I just gotta keep on doing what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure it out. But today's another day, a new day, and I have not done anything today, and I plan not to do anything today. And hopefully, if I if I if I stay on that on that on that into the weekend, maybe that'll help me out. Um, but then again, they they drug test you going into the to the to the to the drug centers, and if you don't have the drugs in you, they might not even take you at that point because there's people worse off than you they feel um, so you know it is what it is but you know again I apologize for anybody hurt I mean my family that I hurt I look th those things were things that, that, that are in my head you know they came out and now my sister is not even accepting phone calls from me anymore which is fine I understand but again if it, maybe they would have came to me and they said look this is not true well, this is really what happened, you know. Maybe it is, but they're not. They're being so defensive about it, and so and so and so weird about it that I I, I have my doubts, you know. <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, I am, I am under the the the, the realization that I've done this in in the past, just stopped everything, and it was been okay. But this time, it's it's weird. It's something. There's something else. There's something else that they're putting into into the shit that they're selling in the streets. That they're not telling you. That's making you even more addicted to it, and um, and and making you feel like you should. You know, so you know that's what I'm going through. I'm sitting in a parking lot right now, checking out the sunset, because uh, that makes me feel really good. You know, I had to sleep at the center last night because the place that I was sleeping in was freaking me out again, and. I was feeling that all this negative energy all around me, so I ended up going back to the center and like five o'clock in the morning and sleeping there until this afternoon. And I woke up feeling okay now. So, um, you know, it's not easy. I was wrong about that. It's not easy. You can't just you know, you can't just break free of the shit and uh, not 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 in this world. Not in today's world, man. In today's world, it's fucking, it's, it's, it drags you down and it pulls you in every direction. And the things around you that brought you to those places are always constant reminders of the places you end up, um, you know, that hole you end up falling into. Waiting for your, your higher self and, and your spirit guides to pull you out. But then it's like, no, they're not going to pull you out because you don't have enough strength to pull yourself out and that's not what they're meant to do you're meant to, to have that strength to pull you out so, that's my message for today a message of hope of a new hope I don't know message of a of a of, a, of you know a hope that you can just beat something that, that's taken hold of you and not let it go that destroyed your life and <clears throat> brought you to places where you realized a lot of stuff but then you lost a lot of stuff in between so 
was it worth it? I don't know. Will I ever overcome this? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm in hell. I'm actually dead. And I'm in hell repeating the same day thing over and over again. So, you know, I hope that's not, that's not the case, but it sure feels like it sometimes. Sure feels like it sometimes. So, uh, namaste.